The vast expanse of the Bermuda Triangle stretched out before Samantha Reyes, an endless ocean that concealed a haunting mystery. As she stood at the edge of the dock, the gentle lapping of the waves seemed to whisper secrets, taunting her with the unanswered questions that had consumed her for years. Samantha's gaze drifted to the horizon, where the triangular boundaries of this infamous region converged, a geographical enigma that had captured the world's imagination. She knew all too well the human cost of the Bermuda Triangle's enduring mysteries, the loved ones who had vanished without a trace, leaving behind only grief and unanswered questions. It was this personal connection that had driven Samantha, a seasoned investigative journalist, to embark on this quest. The disappearance of her own father, a private pilot, had shattered her world years ago, and the lack of closure had haunted her ever since. Now she was determined to uncover the truth, to shed light on the Bermuda Triangle's darkest secrets and provide solace to the families whose lives had been forever altered by its unsolved mysteries. As Samantha took a deep breath, the salty sea air filled her lungs, invigorating her resolve. She had spent countless hours poring over archives, sifting through historical accounts, and interviewing eyewitnesses, piecing together a complex tapestry of clues and theories. From the vanishing of a luxury cruise liner in the 1950s to the sudden loss of a military aircraft in the 1980s, the Bermuda Triangle had claimed countless victims, each case more baffling than the last. Samantha's fingers tightened around the worn notebook in her hand, its pages filled with scribbled notes and hastily drawn diagrams. This was her roadmap, a guide through the labyrinth of unanswered questions that had eluded experts for decades. She knew that the answers she sought lay somewhere in the vast expanse before her, hidden beneath the undulating waves and the enigmatic forces that had defied explanation. With a renewed sense of purpose, Samantha turned and made her way to her car, her mind racing with the next steps in her investigation. She had already secured an interview with a former pilot who had narrowly survived a harrowing encounter in the Bermuda Triangle, his first-hand account a crucial piece of the puzzle. As Samantha slid behind the wheel, she glanced at the old photograph that rested on the dashboard, a smiling face that had once been the center of her world. The father she had lost to the mysteries of the Bermuda Triangle. I'm going to find the truth, Dad, she whispered, her voice laced with determination. I won't stop until I've unraveled this enduring enigma. The drive back to her apartment was a blur. Samantha's mind consumed by the tangled web of theories and leads that had emerged from her research. The Bermuda Triangle had long been the subject of intense speculation and scientific inquiry, with countless explanations proposed to account for the unexplained disappearances, from compass anomalies and electromagnetic disturbances to freak weather patterns and even extraterrestrial interference. As Samantha pulled into her parking spot, she paused, her gaze settling on the well-worn clipping from a decades-old newspaper article. It was a report on the disappearance of a small private plane, the details of which had haunted her for years. The pilot, a respected aviation expert, had vanished without a trace, his final transmission a cryptic plea for help that had sent shivers down Samantha's spine. Stepping into her apartment, Samantha made a beeline for her desk, her fingers already tapping away at the keyboard as she began to organize her research. She needed to make sense of the myriad theories and witness accounts to find the common threads that would lead her to the truth. The Bermuda Triangle had already taken so much from her, she would be damned if she let it claim any more victims. Hours ticked by as Samantha delved deeper into the archives, her eyes scanning page after page of historical records, scientific papers, and first-hand testimonies. The more she learned, the more the mystery deepened, with each new lead uncovering a fresh set of questions. The Bermuda Triangle was a labyrinth of the unknown, a realm where the laws of physics seemed to bend and twist, defying rational explanation. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm glow over the city, Samantha finally leaned back in her chair, her fingers pausing on the keyboard. She had made significant progress, piecing together a comprehensive timeline of the Bermuda Triangle's most infamous disappearances, but the crucial link that would unravel the entire mystery remained elusive. Samantha's gaze drifted to the old photograph on her desk, the smiling face of her father a bittersweet reminder of the personal stake she had in this investigation. She had vowed to find the truth, to bring closure to the families whose loved ones had been stolen by the Bermuda Triangle's enigmatic forces. 
It was a promise she had made long ago, one that had become the driving force behind her relentless pursuit of the answers. With a deep breath, Samantha turned her attention back to the computer screen, her fingers resuming their rapid dance across the keyboard. She would not rest until she had uncovered the final pieces of the puzzle, until the Bermuda Triangle's secrets were laid bare for all to see. This was her quest, her personal crusade, and she would not be deterred until the truth was finally revealed. As the night deepened, Samantha's determination only grew stronger, fueled by the knowledge that somewhere out there, the answers she sought were waiting to be discovered. The Bermuda Triangle had held its secrets for far too long, and she was determined to be the one to unravel them, to provide the closure and understanding that had eluded so many before her. With a steely gaze and a heart full of purpose, Samantha Reyes set out to confront the enduring mysteries of the Bermuda Triangle, her investigative prowess and unwavering spirit as her guide. The journey ahead would be fraught with challenges and setbacks, but she was more than ready to face them head-on, driven by a relentless pursuit of the truth. The drone of the small plane's engine filled the cabin as Michael Donovan steered the aircraft through the clear blue skies his eyes scanning the vast expanse of the ocean below. It had been years since he had last flown this route, the memories of that fateful day still etched in his mind with a clarity that refused to fade. As the Bermuda Triangle came into view, Michael felt a familiar sense of unease settle over him. The triangular region, bordered by the coasts of Florida, Puerto Rico, and Bermuda, had long been the subject of intense speculation and countless unexplained disappearances and Michael knew firsthand the unsettling phenomena that lurked within its boundaries. Samantha Reyes sat silently in the co-pilot's seat, her gaze fixed on the horizon. The investigative journalist had tracked down Michael, convinced that his first-hand account could provide crucial insight into the Bermuda Triangle's enduring mysteries. Now, as they approached the very heart of the enigma, Samantha could feel the weight of the unanswered questions pressing down on her. There it is! Michael said, his voice low and somber. The Bermuda Triangle! Samantha nodded, her eyes narrowing as she studied the expanse of ocean before them. Can you take me through what happened that day? She asked, her tone gentle but unwavering. Michael took a deep breath, his fingers tightening around the control yoke as memories flooded his mind. It was supposed to be a routine flight. He began, his words slow and deliberate. I was ferrying a small private plane from Miami to San Juan a trip I'd made dozens of times before. But as we entered the triangle, everything started to go wrong. Samantha listened intently, her pen poised over her notebook as Michael recounted the harrowing events. He described the sudden, inexplicable compass malfunctions, the erratic behavior of the aircraft's instruments, and the eerie silence that had settled over the cockpit. As the plane began to lose power, Michael had fought desperately to maintain control, his heart pounding with a primal fear as the vast expanse of the ocean loomed below. The strangest part was the complete lack of radio communication, Michael said, his brow furrowed with a mix of confusion and unease. We tried every frequency, but there was nothing. No response from air traffic control. No other planes in the area. It was as if the entire world had simply vanished. Samantha's eyes widened her fingers gripping the notebook tightly as she absorbed the details. She had heard similar accounts from other witnesses, but to hear it firsthand from someone who had lived through the experience added a tangible weight to the narrative. How did you manage to survive? She asked, her voice laced with a mixture of awe and trepidation. Michael's gaze darkened, his jaw tightening as he recalled the final moments of the harrowing ordeal. Sheer luck, I suppose, he said, his voice barely above a whisper. We were just barely skimming the surface of the ocean when the plane finally regained power. It was like something had released its grip on us, and we were able to limp our way to the nearest airfield. Samantha felt a chill run down her spine as she listened, the vivid details painting a picture of a world where the laws of physics seemed to bend and twist, defying all rational explanation. She had encountered countless theories and speculations about the Bermuda Triangle, but to hear a first-hand account from someone who had stared into the abyss and lived to tell the tale was a revelation. What do you think happened out there, Michael? Samantha asked, her eyes searching his face for any clue that might unlock the mystery. Michael shook his head slowly, his expression pensive. I've gone over it a thousand times in my mind and I still can't make sense of it, he admitted. The compass malfunctions, the radio silence, the sudden loss of power, 
It was like we were caught in some kind of anomaly, something that defied all the laws of physics as we know them. Samantha nodded, her pen dancing across the page as she jotted down Michael's words. And what about the other disappearances? The ships, the planes, the people who have vanished without a trace? Michael's gaze drifted to the vast expanse of ocean below, his eyes narrowing as he contemplated the question. I can't speak to the specifics of those cases, he said, his voice tinged with a hint of resignation. But I can tell you that whatever is happening out there, it's unlike anything I've ever experienced. There's a presence, a force that seems to defy all logic and reason. Samantha's brow furrowed as she absorbed Michael's words, her mind racing with the implications. If even a seasoned pilot like Michael Donovan was at a loss to explain the strange phenomena he had encountered, then the Bermuda Triangle's mysteries ran far deeper than she had ever imagined. As the plane continued its steady descent, Samantha's gaze drifted to the horizon, where the triangular boundaries of the infamous region converged. She couldn't help but wonder what other secrets lay hidden beneath the waves, what unseen forces had claimed the lives of so many over the decades. Thank you for sharing your story, Michael, Samantha said, her voice sincere. It's a crucial piece of the puzzle, and I'm grateful that you're willing to help me unravel this enduring enigma. Michael nodded, his expression solemn. I wish I could give you more answers, but the truth is, I'm just as baffled as everyone else. All I know is that whatever's out there, it's not something that can be easily explained. As the plane touched down at the nearby airfield, Samantha felt a renewed sense of purpose. Michael's first-hand account had added an undeniable weight to the investigation, and she knew that it would be a crucial stepping stone in her quest to uncover the truth about the Bermuda Triangle. Stepping out of the plane, Samantha took a deep breath, her gaze sweeping across the horizon. She could feel the weight of the unanswered questions pressing down on her, the ghosts of the past whispering in her ear, urging her to continue her relentless pursuit. With a steely determination, Samantha turned and made her way to her rental car, her mind already racing with the next steps in her investigation. She knew that the answers she sought lay somewhere in the vast expanse of the Bermuda Triangle, hidden beneath the waves and the enigmatic forces that had defied explanation for decades. As she pulled out of the airfield, Samantha's eyes drifted to the old photograph on the dashboard, a bittersweet reminder of the personal stakes involved in her quest. For years, she had been haunted by the loss of her father, the unanswered questions that had consumed her ever since that fateful day. Now, with Michael Donovan's first-hand account as a guide, Samantha felt a renewed sense of purpose. She was more determined than ever to uncover the truth, to provide the closure and understanding that had eluded so many before her. The Bermuda Triangle's secrets would not remain hidden for much longer, not if Samantha Reyes had anything to say about it. The vast expanse of the Bermuda Triangle stretched out before Samantha Reyes, its turquoise waters glistening in the sunlight like a deceptive invitation to explore the unknown. As the small boat rocked gently on the waves, she felt a familiar sense of trepidation, knowing that beneath the surface lay a mystery that had eluded explanation for decades. Beside her, Dr. Evelyn Sinclair, a brilliant oceanographer, studied the instruments on the boat, her brow furrowed in concentration. Samantha had sought out Evelyn's expertise, convinced that her scientific insights would be crucial in unraveling the Bermuda Triangle's enduring enigma. The environmental conditions here are quite unique, Evelyn murmured, her gaze fixed on the digital readouts. The water temperature, the salinity, the currents, they all contribute to the region's complex and unpredictable behavior. Samantha nodded, her eyes scanning the horizon. And that's what's been causing all the unexplained disappearances, isn't it? She asked, her voice tinged with a hint of frustration. The unique geography and environmental factors of the Bermuda Triangle? Evelyn's expression grew pensive. It's certainly a factor, but I don't believe it's the whole story, she said, her tone thoughtful. There are other anomalies at play here. Disturbances in the Earth's magnetic field, unusual atmospheric phenomena, even the possibility of previously undiscovered geological or oceanographic processes. Samantha felt a surge of hope at Evelyn's words. If the renowned oceanographer was suggesting that there were more complex explanations at work, then perhaps the answers she sought were closer than she had imagined. As the boat drifted deeper into the heart of the Bermuda Triangle, Samantha couldn't help but feel a sense of unease. The stories she had heard, the accounts of strange disappearances and inexplicable occurrences seemed to linger in the air, 
a constant reminder of the mysteries that lurked beneath the surface. Evelyn's brow furrowed as she studied the instruments, her fingers tapping away at the console. Something's not right, she murmured, her voice tinged with concern. The compass readings are fluctuating, and I'm detecting unusual electromagnetic disturbances. Samantha felt her heart rate quicken, the memories of Michael Donovan's harrowing account fresh in her mind. Is that what caused the disappearances? She asked, her gaze fixed on the oceanographer. Evelyn shook her head, her expression thoughtful. It's a possibility, but there's still so much we don't understand about the Bermuda Triangle's unique environment. These disturbances could be linked to any number of factors, from geological activity to atmospheric conditions or even something more elusive. Samantha's eyes narrowed, her mind racing with the implications. Elusive? You mean like extraterrestrial interference? She asked, her voice barely above a whisper. Evelyn's lips twitched into a wry smile. I wouldn't rule anything out at this point, she said, her tone matter-of-fact. The Bermuda Triangle has defied rational explanation for so long, and the more I study the data, the more I'm convinced that there are forces at work here that we simply don't understand. Samantha felt a shiver run down her spine, the thought of otherworldly influences at play sending a surge of both intrigue and trepidation through her. She had heard the conspiracy theories, the wild speculations about aliens and interdimensional portals, but to have a respected scientist like Evelyn entertaining such ideas was a revelation. As the boat drifted deeper into the Bermuda Triangle, Samantha couldn't help but feel a sense of unease. The water seemed to grow darker, the waves more tumultuous, as if the very elements were conspiring to keep the secrets of this enigmatic region hidden. Suddenly, a loud crackle erupted from the radio, startling both Samantha and Evelyn. Samantha's heart pounded as she listened, her fingers tightening around the edge of the boat as the garbled transmission reached their ears. Mayday! Mayday! This is Flight 247! We're losing control! Unable to maintain altitude! Send help! Evelyn's eyes widened, her hands flying across the console as she attempted to establish a clear communication link. This is the research vessel Nautilus, responding to your distress call, she said, her voice calm and steady. Please repeat your location and status. The response was a deafening silence, broken only by the crackle of static. Samantha felt a knot of dread form in the pit of her stomach as she watched Evelyn's face grow increasingly concerned. They're gone, Evelyn whispered, her eyes reflecting the same haunted look that Samantha had seen in Michael Donovan's gaze just disappeared. Samantha's mind raced, her thoughts tumbling over one another as she tried to make sense of what had just happened. If this was another unexplained disappearance in the Bermuda Triangle, then the stakes had just been raised exponentially. We have to go after them, Samantha said, her voice tense with urgency. We can't just leave them out there, Evelyn. We have to try and find them. Evelyn's expression was grave, her gaze drifting to the ever-shifting compass on the console. I'm not sure that's wise, Samantha, she said, her voice laced with caution. The environmental conditions here are highly unpredictable, and the disturbances we've detected could pose a serious threat to our own safety. Samantha's eyes narrowed, her determination unwavering. I can't just sit back and do nothing, she insisted, her fingers gripping the edge of the boat. Those people are out there, lost and in need of help. I have to at least try to find them. Evelyn's gaze held Samantha's for a long moment, the weight of the decision etched on her features. Finally, she sighed, her expression resigned. All right, but we proceed with the utmost caution, she said, her hands already guiding the boat forward. The Bermuda Triangle is not to be taken lightly. As the boat surged ahead, Samantha felt a surge of both trepidation and purpose. She knew that they were venturing into uncharted territory, where the laws of physics seemed to bend and twist, defying all rational explanation. But the thought of those lost souls, adrift in the vast expanse of the Bermuda Triangle, was a constant reminder of the human cost of this enduring enigma. The air grew thick with tension as the boat pushed deeper into the heart of the triangle, the waves growing increasingly choppy and the compass readings growing more erratic. Evelyn's brow furrowed in concentration, her fingers dancing across the console as she adjusted their course, navigating the treacherous waters with the skill of a seasoned sailor. Samantha's gaze was fixed on the horizon, 
her eyes scanning the vast expanse of ocean for any sign of the missing aircraft. The weight of her own personal connection to the Bermuda Triangle's tragedies weighed heavily on her, fueling her determination to find the answers she sought. Suddenly, Evelyn's voice cut through the silence, her tone urgent. Samantha, look! she exclaimed, her finger pointing to a faint speck on the horizon. Samantha's heart leapt as she followed Evelyn's gaze, her eyes widening at the sight of the battered, half-submerged aircraft bobbing in the waves. Without hesitation, she grabbed the radio, her fingers fumbling with the controls. This is Samantha Reyes, aboard the research vessel Nautilus, she said, her voice steady despite the pounding of her heart. We've spotted your aircraft. Hold on, we're coming to get you. As the boat surged forward, Samantha felt a surge of hope and trepidation. The Bermuda Triangle had already claimed so much, but this time, she was determined to be the one to provide the answers, to unravel the mystery that had eluded so many before her. With Evelyn's scientific expertise and her own relentless pursuit of the truth, Samantha knew that they were on the cusp of a breakthrough. The Bermuda Triangle's secrets would not remain hidden for much longer, not if she had anything to say about it. As the boat drew closer to the downed aircraft, Samantha's gaze hardened with a steely determination. She was going to find the truth, no matter what it took, and bring closure to the families whose lives had been shattered by the Bermuda Triangle's enduring enigma.